You've got a phrase, Daryl, happy days. I've just used it with Mikey. I'm sure you are feeling that way. No, I'm obviously really, really pleased, you know, for the football club, uh, for my players, for the fans, for the board. So that's what the FA Cup's about, you know, it's an end-to-end game. I think we have to give a lot of credit to Arsley. They, they came here and put on a real fight for us, you know. Uh, so, uh, no, really pleased. They've got quite a few experienced players actually in their side, haven't they? Yeah, they have, and you can see why they've knocked out a couple of teams from our division and Forest Green. You know, we knew it weren't going to be easy. We we given them respect they deserved. You know, they, after taking the lead, we uh, they managed to score a goal and put us under a bit of pressure and hit the crossbar just before half time. So, they, you know, they're a decent outfit. I don't think their league position testifies what they've uh, they're about to be honest. Because I watched them Tuesday night against Oxford City, and it, it was a total different team today. So I think. Uh, I think they might be asking a few questions to see if they can get their league form raised to, to that sort of performances because I'm sure they'll pick up the table quicker the, quicker there sooner rather than later, should I say. Yeah, a real battle, wasn't it? It was a battle, but then again, I thought it was a tremendous cup tie, to be honest with you. It was hand-to-hand stuff. I didn't think, to be honest with you, that they looked like score, creating chances. I thought our, our defensive performance was, was decent. You know, Obviously, for the first goal was a little bit sloppy, but I can't really remember a shot on, on goal, second half, could you say, 2-1, 3-1, I can't remember them having a shot on goal, but uh, you know, they passed the ball well, they did pass the ball well, and, and if anything we dropped a little bit too deep second half, but that's that's natural sometimes when, you, when you're when 2-1 up and it's, a, it's an edgy cup final and you've got 1,200 fans behind you. Could have gone either way at that stage, couldn't it? And I was thinking, where is Arsley? <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing, your heart's in your mouth, isn't it? That's the beauty of the cup, you know, we're another goal and it's a replay Tuesday night and they're, they're the fancy of the chances, but we're, I mean, Adam Kelly came on, he was superb and it was a clinical finish by himself that wrapped up the game for us, but let's, I'll be honest, I thought we deserved to win the game on chances, chances alone, so, uh, but really, really pleased, you know, and we can all look forward to the draw for the cup. Such is the, um, the, the nature of the FA Cup that Arsley go away from here feeling pleased with himself, disappointed and probably disappointed that when Chris Dillon was through on goal he didn't put the ball away yeah. because that would have made it 2-2 and you never know then do you? Yeah well listen it's if thoughts maybe if my auntie had a she'd be my uncle so uh, <laughs> hey listen that's football isn't it you know it's the same as us against Dartford last week we scored the first goal we scored the second goal it's game over so end of the day you've got to finish your chances we were more clinical in goal than themselves I won't take any credit away from them because I thought they gave us a good game but on, on balance of the play I thought we uh, we created the better chances and we deserved the win especially second half but in the first half what a cracking opening goal yeah it was a great strike by Dan you know he's uh, he's coming on leaps and bounds Dan and I think he, he's, he's getting the goals and his uh, hard work uh, deserved you know he never stops running I thought Jake never stopped running today worked hard as well I thought they, they caused them uh, their back lads a lot of problems which I thought they would do so no, really pleased with Dan. It was a great strike and, and fair play to Reedy because it was a pressure penalty and he's and he's got to put it in the bottom corner and he has put it in the bottom corner. So uh, so no, really pleased. I'm afraid I thought the goalkeeper would guess right, but the shot was too powerful. Thank goodness. Well, that's the thing, you know. He's kept it low. Them balls, to be honest with you, he's trained with them all week, and I tell you, they can fly. And it's a different sort of match ball, and you, you connect with them wrong. Ben Lyles will tell you he took a penalty against the old V Young and the uh, old V Young we have on a Friday morning and the uh, last kick of the game for the young lads he's cleared the crossbar so he won't thank me for reminding me on TV but uh, uh, the old ones are 11 9 up by the way in that challenge so uh, <laughs> now they do fly the ball so uh, he was pleased and really kept it down. It's always going to be the way wasn't it that um, you know at the end of the game um, you know they're pressing trying to get an equaliser holes at the back and we exploited it the third goal I thought was superb yeah superb play superb break you know we were sitting off a little bit deep and then when we broke we, we kept the ball and you know Stewie's calm calm head puts a great square ball to into uh, Adam Kelly curls it in the top corner so now it was a great great way to end a, a fitting cup tie and they say that the crowd remember um, what happens last in a game uh, so it should be good, shouldn't it, up here next Saturday, crowd-wise? Well, you, you were hoping we would get a few more that have obviously enjoyed the cup competition today that, that, that stick with us and keep going. You know, it is a it is a relatively small squad at the minute and, and it's a young learning squad. I, I mean, I, I said in training on Friday, hands up if you played in the first round proper of the FA Cup. And believe me, not many hands went up. So, you know, it was a pressure game for the players, although we were expected to win the football match. The, there's still a lot of players out there that aren't, aren't even had the thought of playing in the first round of the FA Cup so you've got to appreciate why the players were a little bit tense I thought that showed in our performance first half a little bit edgy with the ball gave away too many passes of the ball and you know what? sometimes you've got to think I mean you look at the 
the side that actually finished the game. What we got: Josh Casey, nineteen twenty; Ryan Brett, nineteen twenty; Tommy Smith, the goalkeeper, nineteen twenty; Matthew Wright up top, twenty twenty one. You know, Dan Fitchett, nineteen. These are still young boys. Ben Adelsbrief seems like he's been here years. Uh, you know, he's only twenty twenty one himself. So these these boys are learning all the time, and, it, and it's great to learn in big games like the first round of the FA Cup. Well, you started today to try and balance up the ages, didn't you? Well, I need to get the average age up, didn't I? So uh, no, I just thought. I just thought the occasion and the game, I just thought, uh, you know, just to get old red, I think I'd have been doing the lads an injustice if, if I didn't have started the game today because I thought it was a game where we needed to pass the ball well, uh, which we didn't actually do, quite do well first half, but it was a, it was a gay day for calm heads, you know, and uh, that's why I played myself. But take nothing away from Adam Kelly, he came on for the last 30 minutes and did what I had hoped he would do because obviously Adam was disappointed not to be in the starting 11, but then he's, uh, he shoved that right in the gaffer's face, which is great. Tuesday, Welling difficult anyway um, you know they're a good side aren't they going well so it's a it's comes perhaps a little bit too quickly maybe after the cup yeah well hey listen we got we got a rest up uh, we've got two one or two injuries from today again so with a depleted squad so we'll be I'll be looking probably to sign uh, one or two players next week and uh, hopefully get a little bit more luck than I did this week because I got a few doors shut in my face this week so we need to get one or two additions in uh, obviously a little bit depleted but we'll go there we need to pick up our league form the FA Cup's great but our leagues are bread and butter you know and we've got to be a little bit more consistent whereas though I can't really fault the performances against Dartford and I couldn't really fault the performance against Chelmsford apart from switching off you know so we're not a million miles away of climbing the table and that's what we'll be looking to be doing over the coming weeks before we can enjoy the third, second round of the cup well, I think it's about time we let the manager go and have a pint <laughs> Well done, Daryl. Thanks, Thanks so much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.